Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wal-aqibat al-muttaqeen. Wal-a'udwan ila al-zalimeen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd. Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned in his book Al-Fawaid some of the good that good produces and he said rahimahullah ta'ala after mentioning the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem هل جزاء الإحسان إلا إلا الإحسان؟ where Allah تبارك وتعالى says is not the reward of good anything but good. He says رحمه الله تعالى requisition of Allah's pleasure is a product of true iman. And when this requisition is combined with true faith, it produces righteous actions. Having a good opinion of Allah is the product of being in need of Him. And when having a good opinion of Allah is combined with being in need of Him, it produces a response from Him to your supplication. So meaning that when we make dua, if we have husn al for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we're doing good deeds with sincerity, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond to the dua. Then he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Fear of Allah is the product of love of Him. And when fear of Allah is combined with the love of Him, it produces leadership in the religion. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَئِمَّةَ الْيَهْدُونَ يَأْمُرُنَا لِمَا صَبَرُوا وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يُقْهِنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we made from amongst them leaders guiding others by our command. Due to their patience and the certainty they had in our signs. Following the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam correctly is the product of sincerity, of ikhlas. And this is ikhlas to Allah. And when following the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is combined with sincerity to Allah, it produces acceptance of your deeds and confidence. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ لِقَى رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمُلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادِتِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, So whoever hopes to meet his Lord, then let him perform righteous deeds. And let him not associate any as a partner with him. So Ayyul Habba, Ibn al-Qayyim went on to say, Righteous actions are the product of legislative knowledge, meaning fiqh fi deen. And when they are combined, they produce felicity and prosperity. However, when knowledge is void of righteous actions, it has no benefit. Wa'iyadun billah min dalika. Ayu al habba I want to encourage myself and encourage you to practice Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen and strive to have taqwa Allah azza wa jal and remove yourself from the sins and to do those things in order to have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer your supplication. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and protect us from everything harmful and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم